Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom, Lex Luthor was ordering a pizza without cheese and with extra olives, because Brainiac was lactose intolerant, and Bizarro Superman, well, he loved his damn olives. And hello everyone, I am Patty Jack, and I... I am playing Champions Online, baby. It's amazing. Uh, this is a superhero MMO, and my character is in the cold, white Canadian North that's apparently being overrun by giant old snow demon things. And as you can see, you can make your own superhero in this game. And I, and of course, what did I choose to make? Basically, he's a white Jamaican Rasta pirate ninja from the future, bitch. You don't get more get more epic than that. And I love this game. This game, it. Let's just say it has the best customization I've ever seen in an MMO, in an MMO or pretty much any other game for that matter. Um, you could literally make any type of superhero you could ever imagine. This is like my guy is, he's different. You won't see much like him in the world, but like that, he, my guy's a small guy. He's really skinny and stuff. You can make giant, huge guys. You can make really, really like skinny, short guys like I did, and it's just. It's amazing. The range of powers you can have is great. I chose, I gave my guy like a blade and a cutlass thing, and it's amazing. And you can totally customize everything about your character. It's really awesome. I love it. So yeah, I've been having a lot, a lot of fun with this game. It's actually a free download now. Just go to championsonline.com or whatever, and you can buy and you can download it for free because they just released that, and now you don't have to pay full retail price for it anymore. And it's amazing. So I just thought I'd upload this gameplay because. When I was playing this game, I got all caught up in the stories and stuff, trying to save the Great Canadian North, and it was amazing, and I did in the end eventually, but when I was talking about it, I just started to think about, well, movies. It just reminded me of superhero movies, and I really, I really like my movies. I watch a lot of movies. I collect movies. It's amazing. And basically, I started thinking about movies I like, and I realized all the movies I like aren't from the past, well most of them at least, aren't from the past three years and so forth because honestly I think that movies have kinda sucked lately. Um, of, of course you got you have exceptions, say Avatar, or The Hurt Locker, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, all those great movies, they're all, they're all great, they're all amazing. Except for Avatar, but I'll get, I'll get to that in a second. Anyways, um, I was just thinking because some of my favorite movies of all time are older movies like, say, Predator and Jurassic Park and Star Wars and, like, Ghostbusters and I'm even counting Lord of the Rings as an older movie now because it came out a couple of years ago now, which is hard to believe, actually, if you think about it. And The Hobbit is coming out this year or next year. I'm so excited for that. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Anyways, uh, the point I wanted to kind of get across with this co in this commentary is that and over the for over the next couple of years, um, I think that a lot of... A lot of like stuff in movies is changing, where they're putting a lot more emphasis on, on special effects and 3D, and I don't like that at all personally, because I feel that 3D is a total gimmick. If you watch my top 10 things that irk me, you can hear me yelling about that. I might put a link to the description of that one in below, just in case you want to go check that out. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. Um, anyways, yeah. Yeah, I feel that special effects in 3D are two things that are becoming a lot more prominent in theater these days, and um, I'm, I realize that a lot of people might like that, but personally, I think that's not very good. Um, I'm an old school movie guy. I love all these. I love all the old special effects and stuff, and I just find that the new ones, the special effects outshine the actual acting in movies, and I find it that it's really just stupid that that they want to put it that they want to outshine the a the actors who are doing all the work in the movies with all these special effects that all these programmers come up with. I mean, props to the programmers, they're getting paid, they're getting they're doing their jobs and stuff, but it's just not it's not the same that movies used to be, you know. Like if you watch the original Star Trek tri no, Star Wars trilogy trilogy, excuse me, um um you see like that's one of my those are one that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Like all three of those movies are really and it's just that they didn't have any any special effects for that or anything. It was just, it's just a good movie and like they've got they had people dressed up in alien suits and stuff and they they look really cheesy now that you look at it nowadays. But like, it was a good movie. It was the whole story of the movie. It's the whole scale of epicness. It's not about it's not about like all the special effects and seeing all the explosions and stuff. Like I get I get you can have that type of stuff in say a movie like The Expendables. 
that is a total pass. I liked that movie just because it had all that shit in it, shit in it because it was amazing, and because that's all the movie was supposed to be about. It wasn't supposed to be about great story or anything. But I feel that a movie such as like, say Avatar. This is an example I might use a lot here because, as um, I don't know, it just seems like a really good example. And I'm not saying this was a bad movie at all. This was a good movie, but I think it was, and I I realized why it was made like this. I just want to get that across. But um. I feel that in a movie like Avatar, having all those special effects in it distracted me from the actual story involved. And when I look back on the story, really it was just like a rehash of Pocahontas and it was based on like the oil sands in like Alberta or something. I don't, I don't know, something like that. And anyways, um, and when I think, uh, this is, all the special effects and stuff, they just totally distracted me from the rest of the movie itself. They distracted me from the actors and stuff. I didn't feel like... I was just, like I was connected to the actors as I did as I do in other movies that didn't have that didn't have the production value of that. Say like Predator, that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, <coughs> ah, excuse me again. Anyways, yeah, with a movie like Avatar, you know, I get that it was made it with all those special effects to sh just show everything off and show what they can do nowadays, and that's totally great, and I totally get that. But if you're gonna do a movie like that. Um, it shouldn't, I don't think it should have been a, as as big of a success as it was. Um, it definitely didn't deserve Oscars. I don't think the acting in it was that good. I think it, if it didn't have all those special effects, I don't think it would have been as good at all. I'm, I'm just throwing that out there. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm not, I'm not a movie director. I'm not a reviewer professionally or anything. That's just my personal opinion. And I think that there's a lot of other movies, good movies that are out, but lately... Especially in 2010 was not a good year for movies. Like, what good movies did you have? You had, like, Inception and that, I don't know, that other one where the guy's, like, locked in, like, a box underground for the whole movie. Like, that was a good movie. I forget what the name is, though. I'll, I'll, look, I'll look that up later. But, um, yeah, those were, like, the two good movies that I really saw come out of 2010. Oh, and Scott Pilgrim. Can't forget Scott Pilgrim. That was a great movie, too. That's, like... That, yeah, that was probably my favorite movie of last year, <laughs> just because I'm a gamer, but... <coughs> anyways. Again, anyways. <laughs> Did I just break that guy out of ice? <laughs> God, that game... This game makes no sense whatsoever, just so you know. You feel like a superhero, and it's amazing. That's all you need to know. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sick of coughing. Anyways. Anyways. I think that now movies need to start being epic again. They need to start being to scale of everything, and I think 2011 is definitely going to do that. I've seen a lot of trailers for really, really, really good movies, um, and a lot of sequels to older movies coming out too. Um, Ghostbusters 3, The Hobbit, well, a, that, The Hobbit's a prequel, but anyways, um, Zombieland 2 is coming out because Zombieland was a great movie. I liked it more than The Hangover. I apologize if I offend anyone. <coughs> My voice is getting raspy here. I'd probably end this off really soon. Anyways, um, I think that 2011 is going to be a great year for movies, and my voice is really tingling here, so I really got in this off here. I'm sorry, guys, for ending this a little early. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you sometime.